I assume they listen to everything I say. They do. I'm sure. They do. You you it's took a lot a, of boring shit. You took a bold stand though years ago when the governments were trying to poison their citizens. You took a very bold stand that nobody else took. That's what I was like, wow, I appreciate you because I lost three, four jobs because I refused to take it. I refused. I bet you feel better about it now. Well, especially when you know all these people that have health problems because of it. Cancers has increased 300 percent. All cause mortality up 40 percent in some age groups. Pulmonary embolisms almost up like 500 percent. Yeah. What would cause that? Well, Crazy. the spike proteins that's being built and collected within the in the system, and the then. more boosters you get, boom, the you're worse turning your, your system are off. Be. You're turning it yeah. off. Your body cannot defend itself, and it's just collecting. It's just collecting. But it it also showed me the bizarre state of human psychology, that people, if you're presented with what could be a potential solution, you want to believe in it so bad that you're willing to defend these companies that have been the most deceptive companies, proven deceptive, not just deceptive, but deceptive in the way that they are allowed to distribute information. They're allowed to not be transparent about their studies. They could have multiple studies that show a negative cause or a negative effect, and they they don't have to release those studies. Why? Because they're bought and sold. They showed that it stops viral replication completely in vitro. Yeah, they know that they don't. They know that there's a mechanism involved, and they try to pretend. And then they also try to pretend it's dangerous, which is insane. And they even got Rolling Stone magazine on board with it, where they they printed an article where they were showing these people that were waiting in line uh, for gunshot victims because uh, so many people were overdosing on horse dewormer. Yeah, well, that was propaganda. It was, it was, a, it was a full-on lie. Not only that, the, they were so stupid and clumsy about it that the image that they used, this is Oklahoma. The image that they used was like in the summer in Oklahoma, and yet everybody's dressed in winter coats. It was retarded. The whole thing was so stupid, but so obviously coordinated. It was confusing to me how many people were willing to go along with it and how many people were angry at people who didn't go along with it regardless of what they were saying. Even if what they were saying was reasonable, even if what they're saying, especially if you're talking about like Jay Bhattacharya and you know these, these people that were professors at esteemed universities and they were being silenced and there was a coordinated effort, coordinated effort to remove their posts from Twitter this is wild shit. Yeah. Unprecedented wild shit. And the population was just going along with it. For me, what was fascinating was psychologically. Like, do you guys not know about deception? Do you not know about profit motive? Do you not know about the history of pharmaceutical drug companies in this country and what they've been able to get away with, with the, how many people they've paid? But this is just the nature of having that much secrecy and control and profit motive and being able to enforce power on people. And it's a thing that human beings have always done. Whenever human beings have gotten into a position where they're ruling over others, they, they are callous and, and evil, almost always, almost universally. There's not one instance of this amazing, benign, beautiful leader that transformed their society into this incredible utopia. It doesn't exist in history. 